Here at Anyway Games, we have been working with game development for about 10 years. We have worked on several types of games, uh, like Adver Games, Facebook Games, games for web, mobile ap applications. Last year, we joined Intel Software Partner Program and we worked on a game for the Intel Perceptual Challenge Brazil, which used the first version of the RealSense camera. That was Real Kite, a game that used Intel's motion tracking technology to simulate flying kites. And we actually won first place with that. So this year we decided to enter Intel RealSense App Challenge and we, we have done a new game for that, which we call Seed. Seed was specifically developed to make the most out of the RealSense technology by requiring the user to do several types of single and dual hand gestures. The object of the game is to guide this little seed in its journey. The most common gesture used in the game is the hand swipe, which is used to move the seed with the wind. Every once in a while, the game will then present the player with some obstacle that he has to bypass using hand gestures. Each obstacle uses a unique gesture and the fun part of Seed is that the user has to find out which gesture he should use. To help the user figure out the correct gesture, the game will offer some tips in the form of small poems. These small poems have some highlighted words that tell the user what to do. For example, in this part, the Seed needs to enter this cave but its path is blocked by some foliage. The highlighted words in the poem tells us to draw a lightning strike, so the player must ask himself, how would I draw a lightning strike using my hands? If the player does the correct gesture, he will create a lightning that will strike the foliage and burn it, freeing the seed's path. Further down the cave, the seed is trapped and in order to proceed, the player has to break the cave ceiling. The poem gives us two words this time, rocks and break. So the player again must ask himself, which gesture should I use to break a rock? We have done some research in order to, to find out the most common gestures that people would use for each situation in the game. And that's what, really what sets Seeds apart, trying to figure out what to do without the game telling you the exact gesture that you should do. And then once you do the correct gesture, you can see that it has a real impact in the game.